Well, <laughs> welcome back, guys. Uh, to the back alley. to the bathroom and uh, up chucked a little bit for us. Uh, for those, if you guys don't understand what Haunted the Garage is, or if you've never seen them in concert, or if you just like saying, you turn the channel on and you said, what the hell is this stuff going on right now? Uh, we got a roll in for you guys, so you'll understand better their philosophy and how they came about. And because these guys are really nice guys, aren't you guys? They yeah. sure. Are. So let's roll this clip in and we'll see we'll see what they're all about. Haunted Garage. Haunted Garage. Live. At its best. <laughs> Satan, Satan, mammy, little baby loves Daryl Gates. All right. <laughs> All right. Someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Hey, what'd you, think of that? what'd you think of that clip, man? Was that sick? Was that gross? Yeah, that was great, man. I'm, I'm hungry after I saw that it's, one. It's, it's probably no grosser than what Bill Cosby does at home with all those Jell-O pudding pops. <laughs> <laughs> and those children. Ooh. Ooh. What, do you guys, what do you guys use for all that, 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 
that blood and, and slime? Because, like, I know uh, some magazine uh, said you guys were using goat's blood and all that. I mean, what, what's the story with that? With that? With that stuff? No, that was the only honest interview we ever gave in our life. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. We don't hurt animals. We wouldn't use goat's blood. No, we wouldn't do that. Refugee children. <laughs> to squeeze them. We just we got a, we got a little squeeze press before the show. We got. Actually, yeah, and actually, actually, for the black and white shows, we actually do use pudding. Yeah. Hey, kid, you want some my fun? Get in there, you know. You just <laughs> step on it. Yeah, it's good. Right, you got a question for these guys? Yeah, I, uh, I heard you guys were once offered a real brain by a friend that works in a graveyard. Is, is that true? Uh, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 had to decline. Uh, oh, uh, you didn't actually want to take that real brain, huh? Uh, well, it was, it was like, it was like... I hate it! I'm sorry, I don't have any more. I hate it. I All hate right, it. That's what I hate it. I it was like Kitty Carlisle excusing herself from the panel of, of What's My Line because she was, she actually knew the person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gotcha, what about the... Line? <laughs> Yo, Duke, Duke. Oh, well, hey, that caller. What, what about, what about what the... What you, funny stuff? That skinless thing? body routine. Like, uh, her couple of girls from a and Record, Capital Records, kind of made them oh, throw yeah, up yeah, in the yeah, back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we like to take the best elements of, like, Outreach Entertainment is, like, some of the horror films I like. Because, like, one of the reasons we did this is because, like, the horror films I felt were getting wimpy. So it's like, yeah. I wanted to do some, like, extra stuff, goose it up, and, and I, in, in films are going, oh, no, no, that's too scary. So I decided to do it on stage. And that was kind of inspired by Hellraiser, that movie Hellraiser, where the girl comes up and she's like doesn't have any skin, skin and yeah. you know well, so we had a special suit made for one of the Gorgor girls uh, to uh, wear yeah you're looking kind of thin uh, I saw you right here that little diet uh, sh shaker machine does, does that <laughs> work or what <laughs> shaker does that work like whatever you find something weird we'll give a use for it I bought, I bought that myself actually to use but the band took it and <laughs> right. there were more of them than there was of me so I said okay hey uh, um, to, uh, King uh, yeah. you, your mom come watch the show I mean you, you suddenly <laughs> yeah, does, does, does your moms are you my mom and dad have come to see the show twice right. when we, we played in San Diego, and the second time they brought a lot of their friends. All right. Yeah. So, they're, they're very uh, proud. Daddy? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Okay. Yeah. All right. My right. mom goes to see it. They loved it. They loved it, though. My mom was in the pit, slam dancing. Yeah, yeah, we had all these big guys like with Mohawks protecting her, but she was right there in the middle of the pit. And bodies are flying, everything, and my mom is just like going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, hey, I, I saw you guys. Uh, I don't know, Dookie. I don't know if you were in the King, but Body Piercing. I mean, what, what's the deal? I mean, you guys like stick. How does, how does it work? You guys, I saw pins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done some body piercing, professional body piercing. That was kind of, it's kind of like a personal thing I don't have a lot of time to get into about, but it sort of <laughs> helped me overcome some of my fears and addictions and things like that by, <laughs> by like, just, like, focusing and meditating and, 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 like, putting myself through awful things in order to get through awful things. So I found it looks good on stage, too, so what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it works, it works, it works, it works. They've taken, like, insulin needles and, and placed them, and, like, you see, we got... <laughs> Your snipples and stuff like that. And it doesn't doesn't hurt. Don't really. try this at home. Kids. All a matter of the mind. Absolutely. Do not try it at home. It's done by professionals. It's done in a sterile environment. And uh, the future body. Absolutely. No pain uh, whatsoever uh, anymore. Uh, I got this. That's 